when judges are elected, we're elected for 10 year terms and often sit for 20 or 30 years. So we are really at a point where we can make an impact on what we want these courts to be here in Pennsylvania. The Superior Court has not been democratic and I was talking to somebody who said, not in my lifetime, they were in the 60s. So I don't know when it was democratic last time, but we have a true opportunity. Jill Beck and I are running for the Superior Court to actually flip it and make it a democratic controlled court. And that matters because most cases stop at the Superior Court. They're not gonna go to the Supreme Court. They take very select cases, but it's very important the Supreme Court, so we need Judge Dan McCaffrey too. But a lot of things when people are talking and they're concerned about, they don't realize that the court has an impact just with the stroke of a pen to take away your rights or to grant your rights to make sure everyone's voice is heard, make sure everyone is treated with dignity and respect. Because I can control what goes on in my courtroom right now, but I can't control what happens in someone else's courtroom. But in my courtroom, they're always citing cases from the Superior Court as precedent, meaning you need to rule this way because this is what the law says do. And that goes throughout all of Pennsylvania. That's why it's so important. That's, look, I'm really blessed to be a judge on the Court of Common Pleas. I love it. I had a lot of difficult cases. I presided over human trafficking cases sexual assaults, especially against children, rapes, attempted murders, you name it, I've done it. Hate crimes with the Aryan Nation, and I also do civil now. But we can't be complacent in where we are, and like, okay, I got a good job here, when we see all that's going on. That's why you guys are here, that's why you guys are so active in your community, because you see what's going on, you're like, ah, not on my watch. It's not gonna happen. You know, I'm thinking about my daughter, who is 22, and how, I have more rights than she's going to have. Like, they're just peeling up like, everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I think about, you know, look, I grew up in this place, it's like the other side of the tracks in Philly, it's called the bottom. And I know that I had to work hard for everything that I had. And then you have these opportunities, and now the courts are making sure that these opportunities are come. You know, affirmative action. You know, or now limited where people can go to school. So, so many things happen. Book bans. You just name it, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Bucks County, Pennsylvania is a hot spot and it's always in the national news. So it all goes back to, again, the courts. When the courts come, we need to be ready. We need to make sure that we elect judges who, one, understand the law, who are practice law, and can decide and interpret cases. When I put on that black road, it's a huge responsibility. And I'm gonna be honest, every time I put on that robe, I pray before I go on the bench. Because I know that people's lives are at stake, I know that their rights are at stake, and I wanna make the best decision I can. But we need people who care about people and know that we all deserve to have those rights protected, no matter where we're from, who we love, what we look like, how much money we have, what language we speak, our religion that we practice, none of it matters because we all deserve those basic rights. Um, I, I know that I need to have time for questions, so I can keep talking because I'm a lawyer, but I'm gonna stop. <laughs> but I just wanna say just thank you so much. I'm just very touched today. Oh, okay. All right, so Liz wants me to tell you, so when I was a public defender, unfortunately I got to see a lot of things up close because you represent people who can't afford to hire an attorney. So you don't get to pick and choose your clients. They don't come in, you know, with all this money. So I had a young woman, she was a first time offender and she was there to pay restitution. She had to pay restitution every month of $50. She was great, like she didn't get any problems, like she did what she was supposed to do. So she came to court and she was like, I had to borrow a bus fare. She's like, cause I didn't have money to get here. So I don't have $50. So I'm like tapping my pockets and I'm like, well, I got like $10 because I'm a broke public defender. We didn't get paid any money. I was like, so, you know, let's tell the judge you have $10. So we get up there, the judge calls the case and I'm like, you know, she doesn't have 50, but she has 10. See, even the train doesn't like it. The train's like, ah! <laughs> Services to come get this baby. 
She said, because you got a list and you have other cases to try in my room and I'm not taking a break. So I'm like, all right, well, hold up, hold up. So the woman went in custody and I asked the judge if she would at least let me call some family members so someone can come get the baby so that the baby didn't have to go to Child Protective Services. So the judge said, okay, I'll give you an hour, but I'm not taking a break. I said, no problem. I put that baby on my hip and I kept, and I tried that next case. And then by the time I finished, uh, the young lady's father came and got the baby so that, you know, the baby didn't have to go to Child Protective Services. But it's things like that, you know, that really, really matter. And unfortunately, as a public defender, I saw so many things like that. You know, you, you're in court and you have trials, very sensitive nature. You know, you can sit in court and observe. I had a judge eating a, a, a hamburger in the middle of a trial. You know, it was a really sensitive uh, case. But that's what happens sometimes when people think that you come from the wrong side of the track or you may not be as worthy as others. Or $50 is like five cents. You know, you need people who understand that situations are different for different people. And I know for me, $50 is still a lot of money. So we need people who get it. Thank you.